Here's a quick video for anyone who needs to get to grips with the keyboard shortcuts and whatnot involved in doing modular mesh based level design in Unreal. Obviously modular mesh based level design sucks shit, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, for starters, editor preferences, use power of two grid snap size instead of decimal grid sizes, recommend it. Uh, so you've got your meshes right, make sure your pivot is somewhere sensible. If it's not, you can use modeling mode to move it. It's pretty easy, won't go into it. The left and right square bracket keys change the grid size that you are using. Control tilde switches between world and local space. So if I alt drag to clone, and then I rotate one of these, and I go control tilde, now I'm moving stuff in local space. If you click on the sort of square part of the pivot that represents both axes, you can drag like that without moving up and down. Same with the other thing. Um, you can rotate stuff around the pivot. E goes to rotate, obviously. R is scale. Uh, you should lock that, probably. Um, what else? You can group stuff using Control G. If I select three things and go Control G, I get this ugly bounding box around my stuff. Now I can select it as one. If I want to retain the group, but not uh, select using it, you can press Control Shift G, that toggles group selection. This is still a group, but I'm not selecting it as a group. Control Shift G again, select that. The thing that I cloned that was in a group didn't stay in a group. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The, you can, uh, you can hold Alt and middle mouse click to set the pivot any way you want. Um, so you'll rotate around that point. You will scale around that point. What's a good example of that? If I select one of these groups again, if I just scale it, it'll stretch like that. If I set my pivot over here, it'll stretch differently. If I set my pivot up here, I can scale like that goes to shit because of deep lore about the way Unreal does scales and transforms and whatever. Um, you can get a lot of mileage out of just, did I group that? I didn't think I grouped that. Uh, out of just rotating some stuff and scaling it and uh, alt dragging to clone. But what's really handy as well is being able to quickly copy paste um, transforms. Well, not transforms, rotations and locations and scales. If you uh, shift right click on any field, you copy it to the clipboard and then you can easily paste it using shift left click. So that's handy. Um, if you press shift E, you select every mesh with, uh, every actor using that mesh, every static mesh actor using that mesh anyway. Uh, which is handy when you want to clone all of your windows. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I've forgotten to mention. Um, sometimes you want to select nothing um, and because you usually can't see the void from where you are, it can be annoying. I've s clicked in the sky, but now I've selected the sky. This annoys me. Um, I made an editor utility widget in the toolbar that clears the selection and I suggest you get into editor utility widgets if you have to do anything with uh, with the level editor itself, because there's a lot of deficiencies in the tools that you can address really quickly on your own. Um, that's probably all I can think of to mention right now. Oh, um, this is new. Um, here, I'll drag this over here and go to the modeling tools. Um, I haven't had much use for this, but it's a nice sort of non-destructive thing. Where is it? There's something in here called pattern. I'm probably looking right at it. Oh, it's under transform. Pattern, right? So you can easily set up a grid of actors or a circle of actors. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of junk you can tweak. So that's been really handy. Um, and yet this is also where you would change the pivot of a mesh. You can. Although I suggest using mesh tool instead, I don't have it installed right now, but it's much easier. You can just select a vert and say, make that the pivot. 
Anyway, uh, hopefully this helps. Bye.